and it is one day until nationals. So I'm doing the Australian Open for short track speed skating and it starts tomorrow, which is scary and exciting all at once. We still haven't got the schedule, which is honestly pain in the butt, but not much I can do about that. But yeah, I'll be racing senior women, which is exciting. It should be fun. I'm trying to ease off the pressure because short track isn't my main sport anymore. It's long track speed skating. So I just want to have fun and do the best that I can and set myself up all well. I thought it could be fun if I talked you guys through my little comp day food haul and showed you like my prepping for tomorrow because for me prepping and organizing for a competition is a big big part of it uh, it just really helps me put like my mind at ease going into competition knowing that i've got everything i need i'm as well prepared as i can be so i work with the dietitian i'm also studying dietetics myself so i take the food component very seriously as i'm sure you can imagine and i've got this like whole little haul of comp day snacks so i'll talk you through the snacks but i'm going to change position because the lighting's better on the other side of the kitchen okay let me talk you through all my snacks i had the funnest shopping haul yesterday i seriously i rarely eat these kinds of food realistically except for comp days and competition weekends yada da da training camps all that so i have a lot of fun picking out um, the food that I get to eat over a comp day. Although, to be honest, it's actually not that fun eating these foods over comp day. I mean, it's fun for like a day when you start eating heaps of sugar and carbohydrates and then it quickly gets really boring really quickly. It's fun right now. We'll see how fun it is in like two days time. Probably not fun, spoiler alert. But anyway, let me show you what I got. I got some fun cereal because I'm a wheat bix kind of gal, but going into a comp day, carb loading, I always pick up like something really fun that I've never really tried before. And this weekend's haul is Cine Minis, which are like funny little sugary cinnamon cereal. And I tried some yesterday, I'm here for it. They are really yum. And they're good dry or with milk. So I feel like that's good because I can always pack them up dry for comp day as well, which we like. I also got Carmen's Oat Slices. These are a go-to for me for big training days anyway. They're really carb heavy, perfect like size the amount of carbs i can't remember how many carbs it is in one bar 20 grams of carbs in one bar which is pretty good pretty doable so i've always kind of liked these next shapes i like to swear i never have shapes but they're such a childhood throwback and good to like get some carby snacks that have salt too just to make sure i'm hitting electrolytes at the same time i have up and go protein plus for some protein three of these so after each comp day i will take one immediately to have some protein to help kick start that whole recovery process get me ready for the next day more salty snacks pretzels bought some fun lollies oops i have already started on one pack of these but some sour lollies some dinosaur lollies biscoff biggies i'm obsessed raisin toast this is not for comp day but for carb loading today and like snacks at home Good source of carbs and I'm obsessed with raisin toast. An assortment of Gatorades. Liquids are such an easy way to get in carbs, so I try to have one each day, but they're also not great for your teeth. So I try to not have too many, hence the one per day. And last but not least, not actually a fun thing, but I like these, they work for me. And that's little beetroot shots. They just help with the nitrate content in your blood, which hopefully get more oxygen to your muscles. So I'll take a couple today. I've already taken one. I will take another at some point, and then I've got a few for competition days, which, yeah, should help expand my blood vessels, get that blood going to those active muscles, which is appreciated. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of those things in little bags, get them ready for tomorrow. So I've got individual serving sizes, and then I don't have to think about it tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna, Make big decisions about what I'll be taking. Let's go. Okay, so here is my snack assortment ready to go. Biscoff Bickies, Shapes, Bars, Banana, Gatorade, Beetroot Juice, Lollies. What are these called? Pretzels. <laughs> and up and go. So, I most likely won't get through all of these snacks, let's be real, but I'm going to be there from eight, well, before eight a.m., like 7 a.m. to about 3 p.m. So I need to make sure I have lots and lots and lots of food. I much prefer to take way too much food and bring some home than run out. Yeah, I just really don't wanna run out. So we'll see how that goes. That should be enough. Um, it's helping me feel prepped. So I'm gonna go pack it in my bag, ready for tomorrow. On another note, it's now 
midday and important for me to keep getting my carbs in. I've had breakfast, but I haven't had anything since. I'm about to go to a local bakery and pick up some yummy carby snack, which I'm going to come home and enjoy. So yeah, that's my next little plan of attack. I've been looking forward to it. I've been telling myself like for the last couple of days, like, oh, you get to go to the bakery and pick out something. Should be a good time. Let's see what I choose. Yeah. I've got the goods from the bakery. Truth be told, I woke up sick this morning, which is really not a great way to go into nationals, but there's bugger all I can do about it. So working on just looking after that as best as I can, which is why I went and got myself an orange juice because I'm loading up on all the vitamin C today and will be for the foresee foreseeable future. Lucky me. I got myself a cinnamon scroll, perfect. And then my boyfriend is coming over later, so I got him a little something too. I got him a blueberry cheesecake. Should be good schmood. But I'm going to cub up and enjoy a good snack. The benefit of this is at least juice is full of carbs as well as in this case vitamin C. So hitting both goals with one one juice. Okay, so I'm currently packing all my stuff ready for tomorrow. I put all my snacks in this little bag. Also, I've got all my sharpening gear because I might need to sharpen during the day. Well, I'm taking all of my suits tomorrow because I'll be doing a relay, in which case I need to wear my club suit. But the rest of the time, I will probably be wearing my Team Chris Bear suit. But we'll just see. It's good anyway to have two. So in case something happens, I'll be fine. I actually don't think I'll bother with the Victorian suit today, but I want to wear that another day. So I want to so that's all good to go. And then also pack some jumpers and stuff. And I still have to figure out what exactly I'm going to wear tomorrow. I might get that organized today while I'm at it. Okay, so I'm currently choosing what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Probably take this, because it's my running bear windbreaker and I kind of just like it. It's a really nice light jacket. I will take my club a jacket for over the top i just want lots of layers so because it'll be cold in the ice rink but i will like warm up and cool down as the day goes on like as i warm up for races and then have time in between where i'm just sitting around I need lots of layers for that i will wear my running bear trackies these are literally the comfiest trackies ever in the existence of trackies sydney olympics 2000 shirt this is my dad's old shirt and Alice Cody shorts. These are my favorite shorts ever. So mostly it's just about wearing ultimate comfy stuff tomorrow. I'm currently wearing an Alice Cody sports bra. It's a tank top one and it's very, very comfy. I might wear that tomorrow as well. Two days in a row, we love that. And yeah, that's everything prepped for now, which is good. I'm very excited for tomorrow. Still feeling so sick, but getting all the vitamins in which is good and should hopefully be helping. Good morning, folks. It's actually day two of nationals. Barely filmed anything yesterday. And to be honest, I was very, very unwell and I'm still unwell today. You can probably tell from my voice. Hi, so I'm officially changed, ready for another day of racing. Let's sit down and talk about how racing went yesterday. Didn't go well, it was okay. Uh, I had first up my 1500 meter heats where I just deliberately went really, really slowly because there's only me and one other girl competing and we're like, we've been bunched in with the guys for the races. So I knew I was gonna come last anyway in the heats. So it didn't matter. And it was just a heat for positions for the next round. So I just went really, really slowly and a cruisy because I was sick so I wasn't gonna push it there was no point pushing it I have to because I'm sick I'm really having to be choosy about where I use my energy so then I did the 1500 meter final where I was actually racing the only other girl because we both obviously made it into the bottom final and that actually went well she gapped me at the start because she has a faster start but I pretty confidently caught up past and then zoomed by and gapped her so that was good because we have 500 meter 1000 and 1500 as the three distances I do need to beat this girl in two of the three to win overall and we had 500 meter heats yesterday and she had a fast start and just got way ahead of me and beat me in that and so this morning we'll be starting off with 500 meter final 
I would ideally like to beat this girl in that if I can do a nice fast start. Otherwise, 1,000 meters, I must beat her. I'm trying to ease off the pressure because I am sick. I would easily beat her if I weren't sick. I mean, I train with this girl, so I know that, but because I'm sick, I'm just, like my lungs have been dying when I've been racing. And like yesterday in between races, I was just lying down on the floor. I came home yesterday and spent the majority of the afternoon lying on the sofa. And then I had a good night's sleep, so hopefully that all helps me today to be able to have a bit more energy, feel a bit better. And I am gonna actively film with my camera for the vlog because I think that will like take my mind off things too. Guess who actually decided not to film nationals? Because I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself. So if I just go into a competition instead, focusing on just having fun, generally the outcome is much better. So that's what I'm gonna do today is just focus on having fun for the most part. Take my camera around, film stuff, try and make it a bit more enjoyable because yesterday wasn't a great day for me. Physically being sick and mentally too because I was just beating myself up over my races. Today's gonna be a better day. I'm telling you guys that now because it will happen. One week later. Hello, hello. Surprise, I am filming from home again because guess who actually decided not to film nationals pretty much at all. That would be me. I did take my camera on Saturday, but I spent most of the day very sick, coughing up my guts and crying a lot in the change rooms between races. This is fine. It was not a fun nationals for me. I will sit down and do a bit more of a full debrief with you guys and I'll tell you all how it went, but safe to say it was not a fun weekend for me, honestly. It, it sucked a lot, but I will go over that. It is many days later. It is the following Friday and I'm sitting at home. It's boring outside, <laughs> but anyway, it's been nice weather lately, which is good. I have been spending this week completely resting from skating and exercise and everything. I don't know if you can tell my voice, but I'm still just getting over like the final bit of that sickness. Um, I'm feeling so good today. Way, way, way better. But I've just got a cough still and my voice sounds bizarre. But anyway, I will be taking you through today a nice slow resting, relaxing Relaxable day, relaxable, relaxing day. Should be good. Right now I am working on my journaling. It's something I've just started doing every day. I'm obsessed with this, the inner game journal, which I recently got. Let me show you. This is kind of what it looks like. It's just great for athletes. It helps you set out your day, address what you need to do, what your performance goals are for the day. And then the second half of the day, you can, you're able to journal about how training went and all sorts of things. Also just sort of analyze like your the skills and how you approached the day and your mental mindset and what you need to work on for the next day. But anyway, I've been doing it for probably a couple months now and yeah. I'm loving it. I won't go back to anything else. It's just great. And also just good because I've never really enjoyed journaling. People always say like, oh, it helps with your mental health, blah, blah, blah. But I love the structure of this journal. It's just so structured. It's really helping with my brain. So that's fun. And I finally found a way that journaling suits me. So yeah, just starting my day off with some journaling. I'll check in with you guys later. I've just been keeping busy around the house. But anyway, I am about to go for a walk. A friend, which should be good. It is still raining outside, but not as crazily as it was before. We'll go for a walk regardless. As the Dutch would say, we're not made of sugar, but it's nicer when you don't get poured on mid rain. Mid rain, mid walk. But anyway, should be good. Still always working on clearing my mind and doing things to make me feel a bit happier, more relaxed, like seeing friends, like going for walks. Yeah, it's been hectic. As I said, the weekend really was rough on Saturday. I started the vlog. I thought that maybe like filming and all that would help take my mind off feeling sick and it'd just be a good opportunity. I usually love filming that stuff, but unfortunately it didn't go well. I put an insurmountable amount of pressure on myself to perform over the weekend, even though I was sick, which was really unfair to do to myself. I was feeling really sick during the racing and then each time after I raced, I just feel so exhausted and overwhelmed from pushing myself during the race that I mostly just ended up like crying. I cried a lot in the change room over the weekend, which I'm not proud of, but here's what it is. Luckily, I had some amazing people in the change room who helped support me. I got lots of hugs, which is nice. It was really, really rough. So I'm taking the time to look after my physical and mental health this week. But anyway, I'll check in after the walk. I'm gonna go meet my friend Courtney for a lovely hour long walk and a coffee date and it should just be so good. Fill my cup up. I am home and just working on getting set up with my little compression legs. If you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen them a million times. 
I've just been trying to use these every day to help with recovery as much as possible. I'm also, because I've got a whoop now, I'm trying to make sure I use these so I can see if it affects my data at all. Yeah, which is very interesting. While my legs are on, I'm done recovering. Let me talk to you a bit about Nasha. So I took my racing really chill pretty much. I pushed hard on the first day and tried to do my best, but I quickly realized after the first day that actually that wasn't really gonna happen. It wasn't really possible. And so on Saturday I had heats and finals for a few races, 500, 1000, 500 and 1000 can't even English, didn't go well. But in the heats, I deliberately didn't push at all and just got the laps done pretty much. And then in the finals, I tried to put a bit more effort in, but yeah, it was just really rough. Sunday, I went in and we just had a relay. Um, that was actually fun, even though I was dying, coughing my guts up on the ice. And then we had the presentation lunch to finish. But to be honest, the whole weekend for me, it was just very overwhelming and not much fun. I did a lot of coughing, a lot of crying, not my best. So that's why this week has all been about physically and emotionally, mentally recovering. I've also started a new ADHD medication this week. So things are all changing and hopefully for the better. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But for now, I'm just gonna tend, spend the day trying to relax a bit or keep relaxing. Good morning and happy Saturday. I'm currently up in the pancake, as you can probably tell in the background. I was meant to race Kobo Crit this morning and then two minutes before I left the house, they canceled it, which is not so great. Hey Jack, look who's just joined me. Jackie, plan has changed. I'm in the studio ready for some Zwift instead, which will be good. I'm honestly probably smarter because it's my first session back post being sick, so say hi. It's my first session back after being sick, so probably not a bad idea at all to instead just chill a bit on Zwift. So yeah, just logging in now, figuring out what sort of session I'll do. I guess I'll just do a steady state. I'm honestly feeling like a little bit anxious today. She was like, yesterday I was feeling a bit anxious too, but oh well. I'm not going to worry too much about it. No point worrying about worrying. Just gonna get this session done, relax, enjoy it. It will be good to move again anyway, because I've been itching to get my body moving a bit more the past few days, um, but holding back until I got fully well, so. So I've just started my Zwift ride. Trying to keep it a bit easy. Um, I'm finding my breathing rate, like as you can tell, <laughs> is actually increasing quite a lot. I think it's just I haven't exercised in literally a week, but also I'm feeling a bit anxious, so I think it's just that. Like a little bit of hyperventilating, maybe. But otherwise, it's going okay. I'm only two k's in, and my aim is to get 40 k's done, and then I'll call it a day. So I feel like that's a good. Good distance, just 40 k's, ease back into it. Goodness, I'm so out of breath. I'm literally like pushing 120 watts and this is how out of breath I am. Probably a good thing I didn't race today if I'm feeling a bit like this, to be honest. Just good to get moving again, so can't complain. That is me done for today. I'm really sweaty. Um, it was an hour and a half on the bike, which was pretty good. <sighs> I'm so out of breath, but anyway. I'm gonna end this video here. I We'll put the stats of that ride up here. It was just an easy zone two ride. But yeah, gonna end the video here. I know it wasn't what you guys thought the video would be. This wasn't what I thought the video would be either. Obviously, nationals sucked, but that happens sometimes. I couldn't control the situation. And I think that's just something we sometimes forget as athletes. We try and control every little thing and you can do that. But still, there are a lot of things out of your control um, and being sick is one of them. So yeah, this last weekend was hard, recovering was hard, but it was a really good reminder for me. I cannot control everything and I need to go a bit easier on myself, I think, going forward. But yeah, thank you guys for coming along for this rough ride. Um, hopefully next week's video will be a bit more lighthearted, a bit more fun as I get back on track after being sick and get back into the groove of things. I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.